What's up, family? I decided to do another video, and I'm gonna label this video "Money and the Different Vices That Keep You Broke." You know, a lot of people love to use that word "vices." Basically, like you know, like a tool, something that keeps a grip and a hold on your life that you feel like you just gotta go get it. You just gotta go get it. Matter of fact, y'all remember like the old movie, one of my favorites, New Jack City. Remember Pookie, Chris Rock, when he was like. Man, crack, man, that shit just be calling me, man. It be calling me, man. I just feel like I just got to go to it, man. Y'all know what I'm saying. That's how some people feel. With different vices, they just got to go to it all the time. So with that being said, check this out. I'm going to show you where a lot of your money is being spent and wasted. Let's go with the most common thing. Let's go with, a, let's say, a box of cigarettes. Let's go with Coos. I remember when I was a kid, my aunt used to always send me to the store, go get me a Pepsi and a pack of cool. See, back in the days, people grew up in my era, I'm 45, you know, you used to go to cigarettes, little kids would get cigarettes. It was not a problem. Now you got to be 18 or older, I think, or maybe 21. But anyway, I don't smoke, nor have I ever, but I believe a pack of cigarettes is somewhere about $8 to $10. And if you're in New York, I think they're like $15. That's crazy. So it's like... You're spending your hard work money basically to damage your body and kill yourself. But check this out. Let's go with cool. Something so simple. Now, I believe cool. Let's just go with $10, right? $10, right? $10 US dollars. If you're smoking a pack of cools a day, $10 a day times seven days, it's going to give you $70 that you're spending a week on cigarettes to just destroy your lungs, give you cigarette cancer, right? Um... So now that's seventy dollars a week. Seven, that's a week. So now you times that times four, because you got four weeks in a month, and then that's gonna give you that's gonna give you two hundred eighty, two hundred and eighty dollars a month that you're spending on cigarettes. Now two hundred and eighty a month times twelve is gonna give you. I know it's over a thousand. I think twelve hundred. It's gonna give you. No, no, no I remember. It's a eleven. I think it's like 11 20. But you know, basically like 1200, 1100. Every day, the average person is smoking cigarettes, and this is the bare minimum. Because, like I said, if you're in New York, cigarettes cost like $15. That's crazy. So, this is a bare minimum. So, $10 a pack a week, seven days a week for a person smoking a pack a day. You got some people do two, three packs a day. That's really bad. But check it. So, a pack a day going to give you $70. $10 a day, $70 a week that you're wasting on cigarettes. A week turns into a month, $280 a month. A month turns into a year. You don't spend $1,120 a year on cigarettes to help shorten your lifespan. Or as some more educated people would say, telomeres. So if y'all need a new word to look up, telomeres. It's like the expansion or the length of your lifespan. You know, so this is taking off telomeres of your life. That's just cigarettes. And we're going to go, now like I said, these are different vices that everybody knows since they was kids. Let's go with another one. Now that was, that was cigarettes, right? Let's see how much spell cigarettes. Cigarettes. Right? Let's go with the next most common one a lot of people do. Alcohol. Alcohol. Now I might spell it wrong. Don't even worry about that. Alcohol. Now, once again, I don't drink. So this doesn't apply to me. However, all my life I have been around. So I'm well aware about it. So let's go with alcohol. Let's take, and like I said, I'm going to do the bare minimum. If this video could help some of you, fine. Others, I don't do stuff for likes. I could care less about that because people out here that do likes, you're not paying my bills. So I could care less about likes. I'm not one of these phony people worried about damn likes, okay? So y'all can take that and go shove it. But if this helped even one person, take my hat off to you. So we're going to go with alcohol. Let's say a six-pack of beer, right? six-pack of beer, I think, cost about $7. So let's go $7 a day times seven days in a week, right? It's going to give you $49. So let's just say $50, all right? Let's, let's, let's average it out to $50. $50 a week you're spending on beer. And we're not even talking about all you cats that want the Alizé, the Henny, and uh, all this other dumb junk. What you fail to realize 50 Cent and Puff Daddy, yeah, they promoting that alcohol poison. But if a lot of you do read, if some of you do read, 
You'll remember, even 50 Cent said he don't drink. But yet still he promote alcohol. So come on, y'all, people, let's be productive. Think. One of y'all icons who clearly says he don't drink, but he out there going to every hood around the damn country promoting the alcohol. Got to think, people. So anyway, if you buying a six, and like I said, we're doing the bare minimum. We're not even doing expensive drinks. And how when y'all go to the club, and y'all want to ball, y'all want to turn it up and spend money and spend money. Remember, with all these vice I'm getting ready to show you, guess what? Your rent is still due. Your kids still need a better education that you can provide to them. You still got more important things to do. We got work to do, people. You know what I'm saying? You got more productive things that you could be doing with your money to advance your kids' education or whatever it is. Or going on a vacation that you keep claiming you don't got money for. This is where your money's going. All right? So anyway, so that's $50 a week. Let's do simple math here. $50 a week, four, days, four weeks in a month, that turns into $200. $200 a month you're wasting on alcohol. $200 a month times that times 12, because 12, 12 uh, months in a year. Now we're going to 12 that times 12, that's going to get $2,400, right? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I apologize about that. Now look at this. On alcohol, you're spending $7 a, a day, you know, six pack of beer, seven days a week. That's $50 a week. $50 a week turns to $200 a month. $200 a month turns to $2,400 a year. Now, that is, that is alcohol that you're just killing your, you're just destroying your liver, destroying your, your gallbladder and stuff like that. This is all negative stuff that you're spending your money on. Remember, we got work to do. We got more productive things you could be doing, such as furthering your education, your kids' education, furthering your better living conditions. You know what I'm saying? Catching up on those bills, having good credit, paying for that trip that you keep saying you can't afford. Yes, you could afford it. You just got to discipline yourself. Now, let's go to another most common one. Gambling. Gambling. Like I said, let's, let's keep God in focus here. These are different vices that are so common to the everyday person. Now, let's go with gambling, right? Gambling. Now, of course, we got the people that go to the horse track race. We got the people that out here gambling on the streets. We got the people who owe bookies. We got uh, all sorts of online, internet gambling. The people that go to Las Vegas, Atlanta City, and just gamble their house away. Gamble their kids' cop tuition away. Gamble everything away, which is it's a sickness. It really is. It's a sickness just like alcohol. And drugs and cigarettes. It is a sickness. Gambling, they have gambling and knowledge. But let's, right again, we're going to go with the bare minimum. So we're going we're gonna to take you to your local neighbor in your neighborhood. The little old lady in your neighborhood that goes to the corner store every day to play the pickets. See, we're not even going to go big here. We're not even going to go big to the bookies and Atlanta. See, we're not even going to go big because we know that's really bad. We're going to keep it real simple. Let's go with the little old lady, right? She's spending $35 a day going to the store while you're in the back ready to buy your potato chips, your soda or something. She's holding up the line because she's like, give me five, sixteen straight in box three times. Wow. And this is every single night she's doing this. Y'all remember them people. $35 a day. If you're spending $35 a day, Time, damn, my mark is kind of ridiculous. Times seven, that gives you what? That gives you $245. So if you're spending $35 a day, seven days out of the week, at the end of the week, you would have spent $245. $245 a week equals to four days, four weeks in a month. It equals to, because I wrote that down, because that was $980. $980 a month you spend. See, $35 a day for seven days is going to give you $245 a week that you're throwing away. You spend this every week for the whole month, you're spending $980. Then you're $1,000. $980, let's just round it off. Let's say $1,000. So you got $1,000 you spend in a month. 
That's easy math. I don't even have to write no more, really. If you go thousand dollars a month, it's twelve months in a year. How much would that be? It's twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars a month, and this is the bare minimum. This little Mary, this little Susan, this this little little um Miss Jones who go to the corner store every single night to play her pickets because she got I got a favorite number I've been playing for 45 years. I've been playing this number. I'm gonna play it to the day I die. Yeah, you're gonna play it to the day you're broke. That's what you're gonna do. Alright. Now, then what we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do remember we're staying with vices here. These are most common vices. And I know someone on the video is gonna say, oh man, but what about materialistic stuff? Yeah, and what about this stuff and that stuff. It's plenty of things up here, but I'm sticking with these because these are the most common ones that you've been dealing with since you was a kid. So the last one, I'm gonna go with drugs. We all know about drugs. Now, we could talk about the illegal drugs on the street. We could talk about up in the very affluent neighborhoods, over-the-counter drugs. This stuff is expensive. Nowadays, this started to get even more expensive with medicinal medicine. Oh, I get weed, get some medicinal. Yo, this stuff costs money. This is expensive. You know, insurance is expensive. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to put drugs. Let's go with something very common. Instead of going with all the big stuff, because we know that's even more money. Illegal drugs and legal drugs. It's big. Let's call coffee a drug. Because it basically is. It basically is. Let's call coffee a drug. Now, once again, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. I never drank coffee a day in my life. I, well, I used to gamble, but I don't gamble. I don't drink alcohol. Never drink alcohol. I got a good reason why. You know, I have enough people, my family members, to make me realize this is why I don't gamble. This is why I don't do drugs. This is why I don't do alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Love my mother. Miss her a lot. But that's what I lost my mother to. Alcohol. So we, that is one of the main reasons I don't do alcohol. And hopefully this video touches somebody out there and you do the same. Let's be productive. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do alcohol. I, I didn't dabble in gambling and been foolish. Shoot, I even lost a lot of money many years ago. That three-car Molly bullshit. Motherfuckers play with you in New York and they got their partner acting like he winning money. And you stupid enough to go there and go, oh man, that guy did it. I'm going to do it. And you get sucked. Don't fall for that. Anyway, let's go with coffee. Like I said, I don't drink coffee, but let's say coffee cups cost about what? $3 or something like that? Alright, let's go to the most common coffee. $3 at Dunkin' Donuts, right? A lot of people stuck in Dunkin' Donuts. Shit, you even got McDonald's now that got uh, coffee for a dollar, any size. But most people are so stuck on Dunkin' Donuts. And we ain't gonna go into people that go into Starbucks. We know that's even way more money. So we're gonna put coffee up under drugs, because it is Nicotine, it is a drug, just like nicotine, caffeine, caffeine and nicotine, these go inside and side of each other. So let's go with the bare minimum, $3, let's say $3. Like I said, we ain't even going to touch on the illegal drugs, the over-the-counter drugs, the affluent areas, that's drugs, we're not even, we're going to keep it simple. Like I said, I like stuff doing real simple instead of getting way out of hand with stuff and then losing some people, so let's keep it simple. $3 a day. For a cup of coffee. We know the people. We know these people. They work with us. These are the people who go, oh, I can't function without my coffee. I need my coffee. That's the first thing I do when I leave my house. I'll be late to work. I got to get my coffee. You know me. I need my coffee. See, this is, this is craziness. This is craziness. So $3 a day will get you times seven, seven days a week will get you $21, right? $21. So you're spending $21 a week on coffee, constantly getting coffee, right? $21 a week, a month, you will have to spend $84 monthly on just coffee. Now mind you, we ain't even talking about the other drugs out there. We are doing the bare minimum. So $84 a month will get you $1,008 a year that you are spending on just coffee. Now we're not, we ain't even mentioned cocaine, Dope, heroin, over-the-counter drugs that's just as illegal. We ain't, we ain't even mentioned all those drugs. We're going with just coffee, bare minimum. And look how much money you're spending a day, a week, $3 a day, $21 a week, $84 a month, $1,008 $1, a year. 
So the reason I went with these four vices is because these are the very four vices that all of us can relate to. Pardon me, I felt real dry. These are the four main vices that we can all relate to ever since you was a kid. Like I said, I remember as a kid, my aunt used to always send me to the store. Go get me a pack of cigarettes and go get me some, um, give me a Pepsi and give me a pack of cigarettes. This ain't to uh, discredit no one or any of my family members. Sometimes I like being a little silly with stuff. She used to say, give me a Pepsi and a pack of cigarettes. Meanwhile, I'm trying to watch my damn Spider-Man cartoons. You know, you keep interrupting my Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? That was back in the days when it was Spider-Man and his amazing friends. And you keep interrupting. You know how serious you interrupt with little kid cartoons? Give me a Pepsi and some cool. I'm like, damn it. Man, every day she got every with a dead Pepsi and a dead cools. I used to hate that. But, like I said, look at the cigarettes. Cigarettes is so high, that is crazy. We look, we're doing a bare minimum cigarettes, $10. $10 a day gets you $70 a week. $70 a week gets you $280 a month that you're spending. $280 a month equivalent to $1,120 that you're throwing away on cigarettes every year. We go to alcohol. If we did a six-pack of beer, $7 for a six-pack of beer, and it's a bare minimum with this whole list. $7 a day is going to get you basically $49 a week. So I just averaged out to $50. $50 a week going to get you $200 a month. $200 a month that you're spending will equivalent to $2,400 a year. Gambling, we talking about simple. We talking about the little, the little old lady go play her picket every night spending $35. $35 a day is going to get you $245 a week. $245 a week is going to make you spend $980 a month. $980 a month is going to be equivalent to you spending $12,000 a year on gambling. Let's be productive. Come on, stop throwing your money away on silly stuff. Drugs, and we're going with the bare minimum of coffee. We ain't even going to the legal stuff and all that other stuff, over-the-counter stuff. $3 a day for a cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Equals to $21 a week that you're throwing away. $21 a week equals to $84 a month that you're spending. $84 a month equals to $1,008 a year that you're throwing away. So come on. We got to be better. And we ain't even get into all the other semantics of, of people with their materialistic ways. I got to get the Gucci. I got to get the Mercedes. I, gotta, I just got to buy dumb stuff to impress people. What was the term that Will Smith said? Most people buy things to impress people people that they don't even like. We didn't even get into that. There's no need. Don't get caught up in all this other materialistic stuff. I don't. And like I always say, I love being me. And these are things that don't define me. I love being me. You should love being you. And let's be productive, family. Peace.